my name is John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan, for another edition of the Ghost Layers Report. Now, you're already aware at this point that yes, it is official. We are, we have entered a state of fascism here in Japan with the recent passage of the state secrets law. Despite a concerted effort by bourgeoisie opposition parties within the bourgeoisie government, as well as the people themselves engaging in mass protest, and with the police having an ever increasing harsh response to the people uprising, those crowds kept getting bigger. That didn't matter. I knew this was going to happen. I didn't want to say anything, but I knew this law was going to get passed. And the night it was passed, one of the opposition lawmakers could not contain himself anymore. He jumped out of his seat, ran right up to the, the podium in the parliament, was putting the Constitution right in the face of fascist leadership, screaming at the top of his lungs, this is how it starts. This is the road down to fascism. And that created quite an uproar in the parliament. And it got almost to the point of being out of control and in a state of chaos within the bourgeoisie government. Even among these politicians, there's quite a number of them who know and are fully aware that this is not going to end well. Now the people on the street avowed to continue to fight this by any way they know how, by any means they deem necessary. Now a recent poll that was taken found that over 82% of people here in Japan are not only completely against this, but want either the law completely abolished, or at least revised. Now, I don't know what that revision would be. I don't know how you can revise or somehow reform fascism to make it nice or in benefit of anyone, really, but that's probably another matter altogether. But now, you know, we must look at the next phase that Shinzo Abe, the fascist, and his now fascist party, the LDP, it's going to take next. Well, you know, I've lived in Japan for years now, and I saw this whole election go down, how it was so unconstitutional, how press freedom was already being limited. And here, you know, Shinzo Abe's platform, the next thing they're going to go after is the military. They're going to go after something we call here Article 9. Now I'll put a link in the description box of this video so you can see what Article 9 actually says. It basically says Japan has no military, has no armed forces. But that's not exactly true when you look at how that's been applied. Now as we all know, it's more important to look at how a law is applied than is the actual law. Japan does have a military, much larger than you would expect it to be, but they don't call it a military. It's called the Special Defense Force. It's extremely limited in scope and what it can do currently. Uh, it cannot aggressively attack another nation. Uh, if it goes overseas, they cannot be in combat situations. They're only purpose is to defend the home islands. That's how the law has actually been applied. So when I say Japan doesn't have a military, that's not true. Now what Shinzo Abe is going to do 
to do some slight changing to the wording of Article 9. And again, like I said, I'll put a link, you can read it. He's going to put an exception in there. That's how he's going to do this, to reactivate the military. The exception he's going for is included into Article 9 that Japan has a right to engage in collective defense. That's a huge, major change. That allows Japan to join another country in a conflict. Now, that'll avoid Japan from appearing to be an aggressive nation. The excuse can be, well, we was only helping another country. We were trying to liberate them. Where have we heard this before in the history of Japan? Wait a minute. Let me think. Oh, it just dawned on me. During the former fascist imperial days of Japan, when they talk about the Asian War of Liberation, and talk about we were just, you know, we weren't creating war, we didn't declare war on anyone. We were just, you know, liberating colonized uh, countries in Asia to give them freedom. We all know that's total bullshit. It was an imperial expansion. The same thing America does now. And you see now, the only difference is the bourgeois here in Japan are, are controlled by the American Empire. And they're starting to cooperate, interact in a very different way. Where Japan's taking, uh, going to flex their muscles. The bourgeois here are going to flex their muscles a bit more. But there's still going to be that connection. And Japan is still occupied by American imperial forces. You know, so that's the situation. They're going to reactivate the military here. That'd be the next phase in securing fascist control here in Japan. So keep that in mind. Call me crazy now. Watch. Wait. If that's all you can do is watch and wait. But if you can do something else, I would suggest you do whatever you think you need to do to try to stop this from happening. And truly stand by the people here in Japan. Truly be a revolutionary if you wish to call yourself that. So that's all I'm going to say right now about this. We are in a fascist state here in Japan. Yeah. If it's the first time you've seen me, go ahead and subscribe. You'll get lots of videos like this, but a slew of other, th other things I'm sure you'll find interesting in our modern times. So until next time, this is me, John Dole, checking out.